Hey guys, how are you? This is Adrian with a new release for Avo. This is 2.13. Uh, we have a cool, few cool things to show you. I hope you love them. We're very excited about them. So let's dive in. Uh, first of all, let's do bottom up again. Uh, misc tweaks. So we have a few tweaks we made to some components and the panel component. This is something that we're preparing. We're going to talk about in a short while. Uh, allow empty show controls block. This is something uh, that we fixed with uh, this uh, PR. Uh, I'm going to talk about it in just a, a second. For the bug fixes, heading can be the first item in your resource. So if I'm going to go to user resource, uh, if you add like field, field, and then a heading, it's all fine. But if you uh, if you wanted to add heading and then a few fields, this would uh, break. And let's see, uh, now it's all fixed. And you can have the heading as the first element in your uh, resource. Coolio. Uh, next up, uh, failed forms cannot be resubmitted. So let's try an Avo demo. Uh, first of all, you'll see different coloring for Avo demo. This is something that we're working on. I'm going to talk about it in a short while. So I think if we do create new user and now we click save, you see some of the um, uh, breadcrumbs have disappeared. And now if I try to click save again, uh, there are some more issues here and the same thing if we try to edit a user there were just a few quirky things going on and um, now they should be fixed uh, cool next uh, fixed sidebar default collapse state uh, thank you so much Alexander um, this was happening mm -hmm. let's see this was happening when you had a an item being collapsed by default in the avo initializer so other collapse true this would not be collapsed by default but only when somebody else does it did it so um this has been fixed thank you so much now we have two cool features um one was made for by paul thank you so much man this is one of the first contributions as the official team member so scoped search and has many associations what well, what this uh is actually well, uh, the has many and the has been belongs to many association use uh, the same index screen as uh, the, the, the index view. Uh, and uh, on this screen, you have the search uh, box, which opens up the search. So if we go into a team and open it up, we see uh, in the, where is it? Uh, so the team members, these are actually users. And we have the same search here, but let me actually, let me show you with course links. So I'm gonna go in a course, I'm gonna go into this one because this one has uh, less um, associated uh, records. So now we have three associated records, but before this uh, feature, when you click on search, you would get the actual search for course links. So you would search through all of them. Now, when you click on search, you can only search through the ones that are associated with the parent um, record. So this is cool, has helped. Thank you so much, Paul, for this. There's one breaking change for this feature. So now I'll go to a course link uh, resource. So the search query block, you would before uh, declare it like this with params as a keyword parameter and a keyword argument and then you would have it uh display you would have it available here but now we refactor some code made it a little bit more future proof and remove that and now params is just available to this uh, execution context so you'd have to do this uh this change for every resource in your uh app we have all that covered in this upgrade guide. Um, so Paul created a nice update upgrade script that you can run. Uh, he left the instructions and everything, and that will help you do the migration a little bit easier. So basically removing this params uh, keyword argument from the search query block. Uh, next is customizable resource controls. So mm -hmm, this uh, refers to this area right here. So by default, you have th uh, three or four buttons. You have like go back and delete and maybe the actions list and then edit. But now with this new uh, PR, this is new feature, you can totally customize this area. So you can add links to something else. You can do, you can trigger turbo, uh, check, out, check out this area, you can trigger turbo uh, updates. You can change the label or the tooltips for these buttons. You can change the uh, types, the 
colors and a, a style of these buttons. So this is a certain color and a certain style. And you can pull out actions from here, like uh, dummy action or release fetch. You can pull them out and have them as standalone buttons. So instead of going into actions and clicking an action, you can have it over here. And uh, you can do a lot of a lot of things with this. This is all documented in this new video, um, uh, which I'll post shortly. And um, yeah, I'm very excited about this feature. This really opens up the whole what you can do with Avo. Um, and uh, next up, we'll probably do the edit screen and index resource control, so you can update these as well. So check those out. Next up, uh, we uh, told you last the last time that we wanted to redo the docs. So now the documentation website is is redone. It's totally new. It uses WordPress. It's um, in ready to be used in production. Um, and we kind of uh, refactored a little bit the, the the sidebar around here, so uh, it should be easier to get started and, and to configure it. Uh, each field now has its own um, its own uh, page. So now you can better see like with the screenshots and code the uh, code samples. You can and also the options. You can better see what they do. So the options are have their own sections here. So a theme, and you can see the default. The what what does that option do? And the default value and the possible values and and some more uh, information about about the, those. So this is cool. I hope you like it. Uh, now most of the pages have. Uh, like a version requirement since when we introduced it, this field. So if we go to tags, you'll see we introduced it in 2.6. You can see if this is a pro license or a community license, and uh, you can use that. Um, some fields have, let me find one. Some fields have um, videos attached. I'll go into associations and probably, yeah, we'll have demo videos. Uh, so uh, the associations have their own pages as well. Uh, they have their own options, and they show show it a little. They show a little bit better how to use those options. Uh, so as I said, some sections have demo videos, and you click on them, and you, go, you can go to the uh, their video. Uh, what else? Mm, I think stimulus. Uh, some some of them have have feedback tags, so you can click on this uh, tag. And you go to the specific uh, feedback forum page on GitHub discussions, so you can leave the feedback for that feature. And I think which one is it? It's not menu editor. Yeah, and we also have uh, the tabs. I think it's the tabs. So tabs. Uh, yep. So tabs have like this open beta tag, so you know that some things might change in the in the near future. Uh, you might have noticed the new search. It's powered by Algolia, and you can you can go to uh, options and and other con types of content very very fast. One thing that I'd like to shine the spotlight on is this uh, native uh, component, um, Avo panel component, which is actually this component right here. It's from here to here, so it's this uh, this whole area. This is a component that we are exposing as a public component, and you can use in, you can use it inside your uh, resource tools or your custom tools. Uh, where is it? Where is it? It's here. So in your inside your custom tools, so you can make your custom tools, your custom co code and content uh, look just like uh, Avos. So we took the time and do thoroughly documented what each. Um, property and which each slot of this component does so i encourage you to go here and check it out and you'll see like you can generate a new component and you can add slots and you can uh, change the name and the description and we try to show you what areas are being um, are being impacted by your changes so please have a look there and um, let us know if we missed something but we hope that this makes it uh, very easy for you to uh, customize your custom content to make it look like Avo. Next, I'd like to shine the spotlight on Ricky. So somebody, uh, Alan, asked if it's possible to export a list to XLS or something similar. And uh, Ricky, uh, like a total uh, hero, came out with the, with his um, CSV action. 
So you can f uh, you can go on this gist and you can see how uh, Ricky uh, handled the CSV export. And I think uh, you can even do XLS if you need to. So um, thank you so much for that, Ricky. Uh, the next topic, I want to shine the spotlight on, on, some, on, on another resource. Um, a friend of mine, or Luci uh, Lucian, has uh, created this newsletter, this upcoming newsletter that I can't even believe that it did not exist until now. So Short Ruby Learnings is, uh, he created it for, itself, for himself, and it's just like a retrospective, like a review for the past week, whatever happened uh, in the past week in the Ruby world. Uh, I encourage you to go and read it and go and subscribe to it because it's like, Whenever you don't have the time to stay up to date with whatever happened on Twitter or uh, in the Ruby community, uh, Lucian does an amazing job to pull it out and, and show it to you in, in a nice uh, succinct form. So thank you so much, Lucian, for this. Uh, so you guys should, should go and, and check it out, uh, shortrubylearnings.substack.com. Uh, now going to our repo, uh, we have a few... Let's see, we have 11 open good first issues. So if you have some free time and you want to stretch that like um, brain muscle and do something else that you, the, that you do from uh, your, your own job, you can go and pick these up. They have, most of them have um, a, an approach to it. If they don't, please reach out. We'd love to help people navigate the, uh, the code base. Next up, so we had a busy week, but we have a busier week ahead of us. Uh, so as, as I said, we have a new, um, let, actually, let's go to the RFC. We have an, an RFC up, so I encourage you to go and read it and leave, leave your feedback because we love your feedback. Whatever feedback you give us as early on, we can bring it into our and make it uh, better for you guys. So using native other components to build custom content. So until now, you would use, uh, you'd mostly maybe use the DSL with the fields uh, to create uh, the forms and um, index screen and whatever. But maybe you would like to use those uh, fields. Let me pull this closer. You'd want to use these fields somewhere on a resource uh, tool. Uh, one common use case we, we get is like, it's that people would like, that you would like to, add uh, nested fields, nested records creation. So whenever I create a fish, if the fish maybe has some siblings or maybe some, some children, some children associated types, you would want to do them here instead of uh, uh, after you click save and then you would go to the actual fish and then manage them in the association screen. Actually, let, let's let's use the team example because this, this one is better. So a team has uh, many memberships and you can only use and you can only update and create those memberships after you have created the team. You cannot do that on the creation screen. So you maybe you would like to have a, to write like a new team and, and, and add the details for a team and then the details for each membership. Uh, you can't do that with Avo right now because there's a lot of complexity involved. But this, um, this um, RFC could help you bring it uh, closer. So what it tries to do is when you, whenever you're in a resource tool uh, and want to output some of these uh, uh, form fields, instead of trying to figure out what kind of uh, markup we use and just use uh, and just copy paste it and maybe you take this whole div and paste it over here and then you update whatever you need, we would like to add um, a new type of um, DSL, let's call it. So let me see if I have some example here. Yeah, something like this. So instead of uh, outputting the div, you would say something like AVO edit field, and you say the name or whatever name you'd like that field to have, and use the, all of the other um, DSL methods you have available for the resource DSL. So you would say as text, and you give it the form, and then you can have the help or required or compact or it only or whatever field options you want to use. And this helper would actually generate the whole field like this one, but inside your own resource um, tool. 
and having that helper and that type of DSL is very powerful because you can use all of those, uh, all of our uh, field options here and have them um, available to you and to use inside your own uh, fields. Uh, now, besides that, so this, this would be for fields. Well, besides that, you could have uh, maybe a resource index component where you just say, okay, use this resource and do this query. And then we would generate this uh, table for you. And you can use that inside another resource tool or another custom tool or maybe on the dashboard or wherever you need to display uh, some kind of listing of data. Uh, another use case would be the cards. So you can you can say something like uh, Avo metric card and you give it the title and the description and the value and we would generate this whole thing for you. So maybe you don't want to add it to dash to the dashboard, but maybe you want to add it to a custom tool. You could do that as well. So this is uh, uh, this is our idea of it. Uh, so we present the benefits and the workarounds and some more context and uh, i see we have some reactions uh, please come here and give us your feedback and if you if you read this it's 10 10 minutes long uh, and you you see some caveats or you see some things that you would need and we haven't covered as soon as possible uh, you, you tell us as soon as possible and we can bring that on as the big big feature next up we have some, uh, a few smaller uh, but equally uh, powerful um, features what is it uh, so paul is working on custom path and message after creating up, update and delete so now whenever uh, so you can do where is it i think it's on course resource mm -hmm. let's see after update uh, okay so in the comment you can you can um change what the um, what happens after you update or create something by using these helpers after create path or after update path, but maybe you want to do more and you would like to intervene and change the change more things. So I'm going to go into a resource and hit edit and hit save. You would be able to change the message that's displayed to the user if it's a success or a fail message. And you could also change the path. So you can, after a save, you could take them, take them to the edit page, to the show page, to the index page, or maybe a totally different section. So you could do that by overriding some of the uh, base controller uh, methods. So where is it? Uh, show, let's check update. So after update path, you can you would change that or uh, after or after create path. So this is equally powerful for you guys. One thing that you probably noticed on Avo Demo is the ability to change the branding. So uh, using a simple um, a simple DSL method in your initializer, you can change the colors uh, the color scheme for Avo. So here you see the orange color color scheme, um, the orange brand branding. And this, oh, sorry, and this has been done by having these configuration uh, items here. So you just say a few like shades of color, so 100, 400, 500, 600. Uh, this is similar to what Tailwind uses. Uh, and uh, we translate this to this whole color scheme. And uh, another thing, we can change the logo and the logo mark. So we introduced this change a while back. So this would be the logo and you just give it a path. So our assets or logo mark PNG. And then uh, whenever you uh, are on mobile, this would transform to logo mark, which is a different uh, image, a square, squared type of image. So this would make the experience a little bit better on, on mobile. So instead of having that big, big logo uh, around here. So this is a cool thing we're bringing on. Um, next up, what is it? What else do we have here? Uh, resource cards. Yeah, this this is on me. Uh, I opened it a while back. Um, I, ha I just I didn't have the time to finish it up. We, I see we have some conflicts. So this will bring uh, cards similar. So this will bring cards from the dashboard to the resources, the resource pages for index and 
show and edit. So we'll 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 make some time to work on this as well. Another thing that we want to do is improve our internal tooling. Actually, it's not that internal, but especially this uh, licenses page. So right now, this is the default uh, Jumpstart uh, subscriptions page, but we want to do uh, something a little bit better and uh, show the licenses a little bit better. Another thing that we want to do is enforce the URL that you have provided for that license. So whenever you purchased a license, um, you provided a URL uh, where the license would be used. And we're not currently not enforcing that, but we, we will start to do that. So we need to upgrade this, um, this screen a little bit. Uh, next, we want to improve the roadmap page. So this is like a, an overview of, of what we're building, what we've built so far and what we're focusing on. And we can make this a little bit better. Uh, we've had reports from you guys that you're you're watching this page and you're tracking this page to see what we're going to build next. So we want to make this experience a little bit better. Uh, thank you for your feedback on this. So this is an overview of what happened with OWL for the past two weeks uh, and what we're going to focus on next. Uh, as always, please share Avo with your peers if, if it helped you uh, build apps faster um, and share your feedback with us. Uh, we can't wait to hear from you guys. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.